lost and just struggle here. Nothing. Like as soon as I got here. Also my Uber driver was too sweet. Ah, he dropped me off like very close to where I need to be. And then um yeah, I came to Fly Safe, I met with Fly Safe, and then I got help at the same time, my suitcase is checked in. Um, I'm just waiting for 12. And then we in Cape Town, baby. to be honest it was like it was a two hour flight but it actually felt like an hour and a half but anyway i'm back i mean back i mean cape town <laughs> cape town baby we're here for a week that's our period i know that's right but yeah we're here so also i'm not gonna do a house tour i know you guys are expecting that i'm not doing a house tour but let me show you my view The beach is right there. What do you mean? Pretty. This is what I like. This is why I love Cape Town. Like the scenery, crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys proof of life. Let you guys know I'm alive and safe. I did it. I thought, you know what? I was gonna land and go out for lunch and do it. But you know what? I'm actually tired. So I'm gonna go to the beach. And chill there for a while and then later on do dinner and then call it a day and then we try again tomorrow guys i'm in cape town i can't rest i can't be tired hey like i will suffer when i get back home but in cape town no sorry sleeping sleeping no <laughs> can't do that but anyway guys i love you guys so much still i will catch up with you guys later we're in cape town baby <laughs> guys you know I've been listening to Gillian more than I should. I can't stop singing his songs. But also, too good. Anyway, <laughs> the girl is headed to the beach, Kesanas. And it's so cold. I had to start there. Well, that wasn't the plan, really. I was tired. Like, I was supposed to go out for lunch as soon as I landed. But, hmm, I can show. I was tired. So, yeah, I chilled a bit and then I was like, hmm, beach, and then, you know, I'll do dinner later. So. <laughs>
first things first, let's talk about Cape Town weather. Guys, I'm shocked. I am so shocked. Also, I didn't pack a jacket here. I don't want you guys to think I packed a jacket. I don't have a jacket. It is so cold, guys. Like at the beach, we literally chill for like 2.0 seconds and we had to leave. We said we got to go. It was so cold. Like it's been cold. Especially at the beach, actually, because there's water. There's just, there was too much wind. The sand was hitting us. Guys, yeah, I guess that but anyway, right after that, like, we got home and prepared for dinner. Yeah, now we're here. We wanted to go to the bungalow, but apparently there's an event. I don't know also why we didn't make a reservation. I think that's because we were supposed to actually do lunch, but I canceled because a girl was tired. So now we're just looking for a place um, that has space um, so we can eat and just have a good time and drink some wine <laughs> so yeah that is that is me for today yeah i don't have much planned well i actually did a lot today after the beach we went to go have ice cream and then went home to go prepare and then now it's dinner baby so hopefully find a place actually because i'm feeling like good food i don't think this camera is focusing on me can you focus on me <laughs> But yeah, hopefully we find the place. And after that, obviously, home time, sleep. Then tomorrow. <laughs>
starting off, we do have the festive MCC, which is made right on the same month on the list, which is made stylistically in a traditional method. Uh, natural wild instrumentation, followed by uh, this, uh, the dosage and then the finding of uh, the disgorgement. Yeah, okay. Fresh, crisp and vibrant, one of those MCCs after a long hard day. That's the definitely way to go. Yeah. Got it. Thank Bye. you so much. You have a burnt pine needle mousse. It's got fermented lemon gel inside. It's on the ash sable breton. And it's accompanied by a vegetable spring roll. The roll is a pumpkin gloss. And the vegetables are, it's an Angolan vegetable curry topped with a cucumber gel. All right. Pleasure, enjoy. citrus buku infused canola olive oil. Canola is your sister farm next door. If you guys happen to be in the area next time, they do such a nice wine tasting as well. Mm -hmm. Finishing off there with a uh, fin boys butter, where we blended two fin boys, the wild rosemary and malva, together with butter and then molded it. Oh, okay. job. Which is a 92% Sauvignon Blanc, 8% mm -hmm. is a Sauvignon, which therefore brings in that fresh, crisp, gentle entry, mm -hmm. uh, which elevates to much more for stone fruit characters. Okay. Uh, the wine is quite light and easy to enjoy, to the point that you can easily drink three bottles alone. After that, you may not feel like I need some. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. In terms of pairing, we will be pairing this with the asparagus dish. Much more of a lighter, summery, easy drink dish, as the freshness of the wine integrates nicely. Mm -hmm. Thank enjoy. you. dipped in a dill yogurt. Just on top of that we have some trout roe. We then also have crispy asparagus that's just been placed on top of a lemon yogurt. An asparagus foam and then I'm just gonna come around and finish that off with a dust of lemon, uh, sorry, of yogurt powder. Thank you.
So what I have for you now is the Gnome yeah. Company Savion, uh, which therefore is full-bodied, uh, full bodied uh, giant Californian company Savion, mm -hmm. which therefore it is a bit more approachable. It's quite subtle in terms of the structure. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of those wines which I personally like to call Monday Night Book Club, which you can drink a full bottle on Monday, but which is the go to work. Oh, okay. <laughs> in drink this, we will be pairing it with the rabbit, which comes with a rich juice sauce, which the body of the wine comes into play nicely and integrates. <laughs> Alright, thank you. The journey is it. of cabbage enveloped in a spinach paper topped with fresh tomato gel mm -hmm. and mezuna and your jus is a coconut and rabbit monte here we go please enjoy thank you so much The first two. The first two. Yes. I'm sure this will be added on to the favorites. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the Chardonnay 2019. Mm -hmm. One of my personal favorites. Oh, really? White wines. Oh, yes. Mm. I always like everything with alcohol in it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is actually uh, made with 50% uh, of maturation and um, uh, on, on, on the French oak barrels, whereas the remaining 50% has been much more than the concrete actions, which softens up that oaky, uh, robust flavor profile. This is creamy and buttery mm -hmm. as a result of the malolactic fermentation. Which Post feeders. In this dish, we didn't do much to it, except that we just added salt and pepper mm -hmm. and then roll it to the pool. Our fish comes with two textures of rhubarbs. Where we have rhubarb puree that gets cooked with beetroot juice just to give it more of the coloring. Mm -hmm. Then we have rhubarb shards that come with garnish on top of the fish. They are dehydrated, that gives the dish the much needed texture and crunchiness. Finishing off there with a beautiful, lovely cream garlic gel that's underneath the rhubarbs. What I have in my hand is a beautiful, lovely sauce. Mm -hmm. This is um, a roasted lime cream. So just a little bit of a little bit of a In South Africa, we were still in the dark, so the grapes received enough water and enough sun. 
because mostly it degrades the soil too much water, they become too wet to dilute less body. It's too much sun, there's more sugar, mm -hmm. tannins, and astringents. Mm -hmm. uh, good aging potential, we're talking 15 to 20 years, that is if you're with the discipline. As if you're like me, you will be lucky if it makes it hard. <laughs> uh, in terms of pairing, we've got a surf and tough, which is one of our signature dishes. So okay. we're going all out in this round. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Just before we did uh, double 